Hello everybody. Today we are going to see the just an introduction about the determined HIV yellow detect kit. You can see uh, this is how the pack looks like. You can see the pack. This is how the pack looks like. You can see this says about determine HIV ELA detect. Uh, this is the part number. The reference part number is 72843, and it's it can be stored in a room temperature. And each pack contains uh, 100 test strips. You can see this is C certified product. You can see here uh, it says determine HIV ELA detect is an in vitro visually red qualitative immunoassay for the reduction of antibodies to HIV-1 and HIV-2 and reduction of non-immunocomplex free HIV-1 P24 antigen in human capillary and venous whole blood plasma and serum. You can say the 7233 can be used along with the buffer for whole blood testing actually. Yeah. 10 test scores coated with HIV recombinant antigen and uh, synthetic KS antibodies to P24 antigen to P24 antigen and Avidin and this is how the packs looks like just to show you around this is the other side is the plain side you can see the expiry here you can say this is this is uh, the lot number is given here and also the expiry is given here as you can see this is uh, this may get manufactured in the board diagnostic uh, in Japan. Let's see this. You know, just just simply see them. Not un unpacking this. Just uh, showing you the pack. How the pack looks like. Okay, thank you. The Determine HIV Early Detect is an in vitro, visually red, qualitative immunoassay for the detection of antibodies to HIV-1 and HIV-2 and the detection of non-immunocomplexed HIV-1 P24 antigen in human capillary and venous whole blood, serum or plasma. Each Determine HIV Early Detect Kit contains Determine HIV Early Detect test cards in a foil pouch, a package insert and a desiccant package. Determine HIV Early Detect test cards must be stored in the pouch at 2 to 30 degrees Celsius or 36 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit until expiration date. To perform the test, you'll need a timing device, a biohazard waste container, a precision pipette capable of delivering a 50 microliter sample with disposable tips, and disposable gloves. Open the foil pouch and remove a 10 unit test card. Remove the desired number of test strips from the 10 unit test card by bending and tearing at the perforation. Removal of the test strips should start from the right side of the card to preserve the lot number which appears on the left side of the card. Return and store the unused test strips in the foil pouch together with the desiccant package. Carefully close the pouch by pinching with your fingers to seal so the cards are not exposed to ambient humidity during storage. Remove the protective foil cover. The assay should be initiated immediately after removing the protective foil cover from the test. Place the test on a flat surface. Using a precision pipette with a disposable tip, apply 50 microliters of serum or plasma sample to the sample pad marked by the arrow. Do not add chase buffer when using serum or plasma specimens. Discard the used pipette tips, test strips, and any other test material into a biohazard waste container. Read the test result between 20 and 40 minutes after the addition of the sample. Do not read the results after 40 minutes. Interpretation of test results. Antibody reactive. 
a red control line appears in the control area and a red antibody line appears in the lower test area of the test strip. The intensity of the antibody and control lines may vary. Any visible red line in both the control and lower test areas, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 and or HIV-2 antibodies have been detected in the specimen. Antigen reactive. A red control line appears in the control area and a red antigen line appears in the upper test area of the test strip. The intensity of the antigen and control lines may vary. Any visible red line in both the control and upper test areas, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. A reactive test result means that HIV-1 P24 antigen has been detected in the specimen. Antibody and antigen reactive. A red control line appears in the control area and a red antibody line appears in the lower test area and a red antigen line appears in the upper test area. The intensity of the antigen, antibody and control lines may vary. Any visible red line in the control area, the lower test area and the upper test area, regardless of intensity, is considered reactive. Non-reactive. A red control line appears in the control area of the test strip and no red antibody or antigen line appears in the lower test area and the upper test area of the test strip respectively. A non-reactive test result means that HIV-1 or HIV-2 antibodies and HIV-1 P24 antigen were not detected in the specimen. Invalid result. No control line. If there is no red control line in the control area of the test strip, even if a red line appears in the lower test area or the upper test area of the test strip, the result is invalid and the test should be repeated. If the problem persists, contact technical support.